Anyone who knows this channel already knows this obligatory warning. If this is your first time here, please skip back and read it carefully. In the beaker on the left there is a solution of 14 gram of glucose and a spatula tip of indigo tin and 350 milliliters of water. And in the beaker on the right there is 100 milliliter of a 6% sodium hydroxide solution. Both solutions must first be brought to a temperature of around 35 degrees Celsius before they can react with one another. If the caustic soda is then added to the sugar dye solution in the screw top bottle, a relatively rapid color change from green and red to yellow begins. The blue indigo carmine is thereby reduced to the yellow leucoform by the glucose. The green is a mixed color of the two forms. The red color is probably due to a radical intermediate. The atmospheric oxygen and the supernatant oxidizes the leucoform back to indigo carmine, which is also yellow in alkaline solution. If the bottle is closed and shaken, the color change starts over. The process can be repeated until either sugar or oxygen is completely consumed. All the temperature of the mixture has fallen well below 35 degrees Celsius.